Hey guys, this is Minju, who is one of the ISV's International Student Volunteers in Gongbuk University. Today, I'll be introducing you the registration guide from spring semester 2021. Here are the manual contents, and if you want more information or if you want to check out this again, check out your emails because the office already sent it out to you. Part 1. Registration Guidelines Registration Guidelines Prior to your registration, you must check out three things. First, remember to allow all pop-ups for your browser. Second, go into your course registration site beforehand and acclaim yourself. Although the general structure will be similar, the actual screen might look different from the one in this registration guideline. Third, find your course numbers for your courses. Every course has a corresponding four-digit number, and these can be used to register your course during the registration period. These are the schedules for the course registration. The automatic course registration for exchange students will happen two times. The first one will start at February 3rd from 9.30 a.m. and it will end at February 4th, 5 p.m. The second automatic course registration will start at February 8th on Monday and end at February 9th, Tuesday. The actual course registration for fourth year Kanguk students, which is also for Exchange students will happen at February 18th, Thursday, and end at the same day at 5 p.m. The second one will be for all Konguk students, and it will start at February 25th on Thursday, 9.30 a.m., and, and then at February 9th, Tuesday at 5 p.m. Part 2 is about registration schedules. The registration schedule will be like this. Make sure to defer the automatic registration and the course registration guide. If you want to make changes for the course registration you did before, you can change it at March 2nd, Tuesday from 9.30 a.m. and to March 5th, Friday to 5 p.m. This applies to all students and there are two ways to do it. The first way if, is if there are seats remaining for this course. You can register it at the same site you did before. And second, if you don't have more seats remaining for this course, you can fill out the request for registration of course with exceeded enrollment and obtain it through the Kungkuk University website. You can check more information out on this presentation video. During the automatic registration time, you can do two things. First is the actual automatic registration. It is for applying for the same enrollment quota as the regular course registration. If there are less people, then you can get in without doing the actual registration course. The second one is the backup list. You can put courses with overlapping time schedules for a maximum of 30 credits. You cannot have the same courses as the ones in the automatic registration. But if you do this backup list, courses in this basket will automatically appear during the course registration period. So you don't have to click it one more time. This photo shows how to log in to the Kongguk portal. The URL is in this presentation, so keep in mind. Please make sure you use Chrome, this is best recommended, or other explorers such as Internet Explorer or Internet Edge. Please allow all pop-ups since there will be an, a pop-up after you log in. Make sure to check single ID before logging in and then type in your ID and password and then click the green button that says login in Korean. After logging in, you have to click this tab that says 수강바구니. The Hangul is written on this photo, so please take information from this presentation. Second, enter the four-digit course number that you have already planned. Three, click 저장, save, which is in the upper right side of this site. Fourth, if register successfully, it will change from 신청 중 to 신청 완료. The Hangul is written on this presentation, so please keep in mind. You can register up to 17 credits 
and you cannot take courses that have overlapping time schedules. Courses that exceeded the quota will show 신청 중 instead of 신청 완료 during the confirmation period. Second, this is about the backup list guide. This is also in the same site as the automatic registration guide. The backup courses in this basket will not be automatically registered. So click this tab in the arrow and copy and paste in Korean the classes you want. Then click search, which is 검색. It's in the middle of this sign. And the courses that you put in the automatic registration tab will appear here for your reference. You can put courses with overlapping time schedules and to maximum of 30 credits. You cannot have the same courses as the ones in the 수강바구니, which is the automatic registration. Courses in this basket will automatically appear during the course registration, the actual one. Part 4 is about the actual course registration. The login to the Kungguk portal is the same as the automatic registration. Courses that have been successfully registered during the automatic registration will appear on the registered course list. And the courses in the back of list will appear in the Sugangbagunyu Kamok list on the bottom. You can put in the digital numbers on the upper side and find out the credits you have already signed for in the middle. And also the mass credits you can sign up for, which is 17. On the bottom line, there will be the same basket you had registered for the backup line. The backup line, you have to put quickly click the register button to sign up for each class. So the backup line is for only clicking. So that will save you much more time than putting in the four digital numbers. As I had said before, the course registration is the same as the automatic registration. You just have to type in the four digit number in the upper right side and click save. The registration registered courses will appear with the pop-up that says 저장에 성공하였습니다. The Hangul, the Korean, will be in this presentation, so keep in mind. Okay, now, now this page is about how to remove the courses. So be extra care careful to not accidentally cancel classes you want. Take the box from the class you want to remove. It's in the left side with the red letter that says 삭제, two words in Korean. Next, you have to click save, which is the same save that you had put in the four digital numbers. Third, you have to click Login, confirm to finalize your cancellation. On the left side, there will be a lot of Korean words, but if you click 개인 강의 시간표 조회, which is in Korean, you can find out that in this presentation, you can find out your course schedule that you have applied for. You can print out your schedule by clicking the upper right side that says print. This part is about common problems during the registration. If a message like the picture shown here appears, this means that the course you have just selected is full, so you will not be able to register for this course online. You may attend the first lecture and register for the course during the add remove period. Please refer to the adding or removing courses slide. If a message like the picture shown here appears, this means that the course does not exist. This also means that you have entered an incorrect course number, so be careful not to type the wrong course number. If a message like the picture shown here appears, this means that you have exited the maximum number of credits you can register for. You are allowed to register for a maximum of 17 credits, so delete other courses first and try again. If you see the message like this, this means that the course you have just selected conflicts with the course you already registered for. So delete the course with a scheduled conflict and try again. 
If you see the message like this, this means that the course you have just selected is restricted to the students of your major. You are not allowed to register for the course because there is a restriction on certain majors. So select another course to register. This part is about adding courses. This slide is about adding a course after the registration period. If there are sets remaining for a course, register online at link here. But if the course had reached its enrollment quota, then at first, fill out the request for registration of course with exceeded enrollment. You can download it through the Gangook's website. Next, attend the first class, meet with the instructor, and politely ask if you are able to submit the form and register for the course. If instructors are able to take additional students, they will enter the student's course registration information in Gangook's portal. Students must verify whether the course were registered properly by the morning of the 5th of March and contact the instructor or department's office if needed. This is the document, Request for Registration of Course with Exceeded Enrollment, that you can download through the Gangook's website. This slide is about removing a course after the registration period. If you want to remove a course, please visit this link and follow the Removing Courses section of this document. You have to check for cancelled courses after Add or Remove period. You are responsible to check for any cancelled classes. A course may be cancelled if there are not enough students who registered it after the Add or Remove period. Visit this link on March 8th, 9 a.m. to check for cancelled classes. If your course is on the list of cancelled classes during this period, you may add courses through the portal during the final adjustment period from March 8th to March 10th. If you have any further questions, please contact your assigned international student volunteer. Thank you for listening and good luck for your course registration. Bye!